to this weekend's streaming safari. First off, I would like to say thank you to all of our followers and supporters. We are so grateful for every one of you. We still are operating at limited capacity, so any donations you guys are able to throw our way, or even if you have Amazon, if you can shop through Amazon Smile and select us as your nonprofit, all that little bit helps. So let's dive right in. So today we're talking capillary action. So what is that? So basically, we're going to talk about how water moves. So normally water usually likes to puddle and, you know, usually flows downhill. But there are some times when the water will flow up depending on the surface. So we're going to do two different little experiments here and see how they go. Um, so we'll start with this one right here. So you're going to need one little container. We'll add a little bit of food dye through it so we can see it. I actually added on one extra little experiment last night, this morning actually, so we're going to do two little experiments. So you may not have all the materials, but I'll add them in the comments. So we'll add the food coloring right here, and then we're going to add the water in here. This way we can actually see the movement of the water. That's all the food coloring is going to do, is just give us a little bit of a visual aid. And then I have two different types of kind of paper. I've got a coffee filter, and then I've got a little bit of paper towel. That may be hard to find right now unless you have some at home, um, but you can also kind of play with the different thicknesses and also if there are different patterns to see how the water flows. So, and I just took a little marker and I marked off the same length on there so we don't have any cheating, and we'll see how far the water goes up for each one of these, and we'll put it in at the same length. It's a little windy right now, so I'm trying to use stuff to kind of hold everything down. All right, so we're going to put the little paper towel in to where that little black mark is on there so we can see it. And you can see that the water is kind of traveling uphill. So I'll hold it there for a minute and kind of see how far it goes up. So this is also really important with plants. So plants have roots that go deep into the ground. That's where they get the water. And those uh, roots actually act like straws and the wind is helping me here. <laughs> Alright, so it didn't get too far up, but it got to a certain point and stopped. That's because of gravity. So the gravity kind of stopped it at a certain point. And then we'll go ahead and take the coffee filter and kind of see how far that one goes up. And again, you want to put it up to the same length. If you want to time it too, you can go ahead and use a little bit of a timer. Alright, let's see how far this one goes up. And if you see there, the coffee filter only went up as far as where the little black marker was, whereas the paper towel, if you look really closely, the paper towel is a lot more porous, so the water has a lot more spaces and tension to grab onto. So it's kind of cool, right? All right, so the original one that I uh, planned on here involves three containers. You can use cups or bowls. Clear works a little bit better just so you can see it. And you want to go ahead and fill up two containers with the water. You want to leave the center one empty. So we'll go ahead and fill this up with some water. We'll go ahead and fill this one up with some water. I'm not the most graceful person here, so I do spill sometimes. Don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of food coloring. Let's try to make colors and mix. So we'll do a little bit of, oh no, Right here, right here. <laughs> the wind is helping. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of yellow and blue because that makes green. So that way, when it goes together, so yellow on that container and blue in this container. But you can use whatever colors you want, and you don't have to make it kind of mixy. And then we're gonna take a paper towel. We're going to roll it up really, really tight. So we talked about those plant roots are kind of like a little straw. So we're going to make a little straw with this paper towel right here. I'm going to go ahead and rip it in half here. And hopefully these are long enough. We'll find out in just a minute. So we're going to go ahead and kind of make a little fridge that goes onto one side to the other. May not have made them long enough, guys. You can see that the water is traveling up and over. And you can actually let these sit for a little bit of time. I probably need to make a little bit longer of a bridge. Bear with me here. Air please, guys. Air please. <laughs>
experiments are their experiments, so if it doesn't quite work, you can always adjust it, especially if it's a pretty known experiment. You can see it traveling up and over, pulling up the water. And hopefully the wind doesn't try to help me anymore. Right, on my right. Who's in my paper towels? Hold oh on. <laughs> And it may take a little bit of time, so I may look this, let this sit for a little while before I post a picture in the comments for you guys. And you can see it traveling up and over. And you can see it slowly starting to move down a little bit. That gravity hits in, and then it starts moving down. So those are two little mini experiments that talk about capillary action. I'm going to let these guys sit for a little bit longer and kind of show you an after picture in the comments because i got to get going. We do have a couple of Aussie shows going on right now and some bird chats coming up. We appreciate you guys tuning into our streaming safaris. We'll continue to have these every Saturday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, any donations you guys are able to throw our way, we are super appreciative. And if you can add us on Amazon Smile with all that Christmas shopping coming up, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for pictures in the comments of the completed experiment. We're going to let that sit for a little while. And have a good day, guys. Thank you.